Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the Misadventures. In the last episode, we started off our first scam of making a bunch of meaty snow cones. But unfortunately, I ended the last episode off before we actually got a chance to sell them, so now they've all melted. And now we're swimming in them. But in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and move on to a new scam, because the Eds just keep on moving, no matter how many times they get knocked down. Kind of inspiring when you think about it. But we're gonna be starting up with scam number two, which is in this manhole cover. How wonderful. Ah, Ed boys! Cast aside like old bath water that has not been used for broth. Pale Jimmy refuses the Ninka poops from entering his celebration. Hello! Goodbye! What? Wait a minute! We can't let a chump like Rolf keep us from this party! We gotta get in there! Oh, I know, I know! We can crawl through the stinky sewers like the bacteria fusing blob and I was a teenage slot chippy! I don't know. It seems terribly risky and unsanitary, to say the least. It'll be a cinch! Come on, boys! We got a party to catch! <laughs> Here we are in the sewers. It's a pretty dark uh, theme for a level right off the bat. Um, so early on in the in an Ed and Eddie video game, this always just sort of threw me off because like it just does not have a very cheery tone to it and all that jazz. But despite how gross and disgusting it is, this level primarily focuses on Double D, much to his dismay. But a lot of the puzzles revolve around him, so we're gonna be sticking with him for the majority of this uh, yeah. level. Uh, I guess we could check right now just to see how many jawbreakers I should be on the lookout for. Uh, in Scam 2, there are four jawbreakers to find, one easter egg, and one costume piece. Hopefully I don't miss any. I'll just keep that in mind. I think I know where the uh, costume piece is at least, but uh, the other thing's not so much. We have rats in here instead of red squirrels, so the enemies are becoming a bit more intense. Uh, we got 25 cents right here. Finally, we could have a whole quarter. Uh, just keep on hitting all these things. There are a lot of stinging enemies in this level. I remember just being kind of overwhelmed when I first came through here. But now I can just not think of anything other than the one line in the episode of... Like, can anyone actually ever remember the names of episodes of Ed, Ed and Eddie? Because, like, every episode is named after, like, a pun that has the word Ed in it. Or just, like, a sentence with the word Ed in it, replacing another word. And it very rarely... Uh, relates to the episode itself, so it's just like it's so hard to actually remember what any of the episodes are called I was just gonna say like oh the one where they play truth or dare the one where they have Fad freaky or whatever the one where they take photos and yeah, there's a giant thing in crocodile here, which is terrifying Oh my god, just attacks like crazy And okay, there you go. He drops a lot of gumballs though, which is nice So you could heal back up pretty easily, but he takes like three hits to take down uh, Ed is the quickest attacker, I believe, um, though Ed, Eddie might have a better range. I'm not really sure what the tier list is for, uh, Ed characters in terms of fighting, but whatever. Uh, in terms of, back what I was saying, of just not being able to remember the names of any episodes, like, just being in the sewer area reminds me of the episode where, um, only the girls are in town, so they have to, like, make scams that are related to girls or whatever. But, like, they start off in the sewers, and they're making, like, a swamp ride. And Ed's just like a stinking octopus, and he jumps out of the water, and he's like, I am an Oedipus! <laughs> and like, oh my god, this show is like filled with so much adult humor that I absolutely love, and like, I didn't get it back in the day, no one got it back in the day, but I guess that's why the parents didn't want us watching it, because they didn't want us to get it. In any day, I guess. Great! What are we supposed to do now? It's elementary, Eddie. If we move down into the water on the other side, you two can lift me up to that crank. I'll lower the bridge, allowing us to cross together. Fee fi po fum, I smell cheese and onion buns. I know why it always looks like Ed has a black eye in this game, right? Just like his eyeballs falling out of his socket or something like that. But whatever, we're gonna go ahead and show off Double D's special ability, which is the Trample Ed. Ouchies. Uh, there's another crocodile we gotta get rid of. Uh, I don't even know if like the slingshot would do damage to these guys. I've never really tried to take out uh, enemies like this with a slingshot. Or just enemies in general, the slingshot. A lot of money in the sewers, as there is in real life, I assume. Uh, we're just gonna keep on getting rid of all these guys, because I assume there would be a jawbreaker hidden around here somewhere. You've gone pretty far in without finding any. There's supposed to be four of them. Uh, in case you're wondering what happens if you die, the game does not have a, li a life system. You'll just go back to a checkpoint. What's sort of funny is, like, if you just run out of health, I think it's called, like, your cool meter or whatever in the instruction manual, so... 
If you ever run out of the cool meter, then you just hear the kids laughing and then Kevin calls you a dork or whatever like that. And of course, that's the ultimate loss in this game. Uh, but yeah, there is a jawbreaker over here. I don't really know if I'd want one that was in the sewers, but whatever. We'll make do with it. Uh, just keep on attacking these guys. Get rid of the crocodiles or the alligators. I don't really know the difference. My god, this is even terrifying. Okay, are we good? Yes, we are. Get them gumballs. Uh, get more quarters as well. Uh, we still need these. We need to heal up. I kind of wish they, would, they kind of have a pull to them, a gravitational pull to them, but it could be a bit wonky, much like everything else in this game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back over to where that platform was, and we could use the ability known as the Trample Ed, which has Ed and Eddie picking up Double D because he's the lightest, and uh, just throwing him over there. Just press the X button to throw him to high ledges. But this does leave Double D on it all on his own, however, he is the most competent of the three, so he's the only one who can really function all on his own. So, we're just gonna go ahead and mess with this thing. Hmm, this should work. This should work. Got used to hearing that a lot in this LP. But now we create that, and then I just make a sinking mad dash for it. They're like, yippee! Are they, where the fruit are they going? Okay, there they go. It's kind of cool that like they actually come for you. Um, they don't, you don't have to walk all the way back. They just do it on their own. That's really cool. So now that's taken care of, we could keep on making our way over here. Uh, more enemies. Let's go with Ed. I think you just uh, hammer. Yeah, you could hammer Ed and take out multiple enemies at once, which is really cool. Uh, the sewage barrels right here, as we saw, if we break it open, then we get hurt by the toxic jello, whatever you want to call it. Uh, do that. It does not take out the croc, so the batter Ed isn't more powerful. It's just that it's a continuous attack. Okay, so we don't get that. And all the Eds share the same health bars. So that's kind of cool. Uh, break this open, there's nothing. Just make our way through the sewers. Oh geez, more crocs. Let's bring crocs back in fashion. No, not really. Go get rid of that. Come on. Why do people always, like, bash on them? Like, I guess they're kind of stupid looking shoes, but, like, I never understood, like, they were the most famous thing to make fun of. If you ask my opinion, the stupidest piece of clothing I've ever seen were those... Uh, sunglasses that are like completely made of plastic and they just have a bunch of lines through them, not really blocking out the sun. They block out your vision, if anything. Like, why would you ever want to actually wear those? I don't understand. Uh, let's see if we press Y with double D. We don't actually need a key. He could just go ahead and open it up. Not sure how that works, but whatever. Uh, there's another thing down there. Oh, geez. The rat. Uh, I think with that we're gonna need the slingshot. Just wanna make sure we get these guys out of the way first. Break off this thing, then we can stop the rats from coming out. And I think that is it. Okay. Pretty simple. Now we're gonna aim with the slingshot and kablooey. Very, very good. Uh, but there is more stuff down there. So, is there a jawbreaker? Doesn't appear to be. Ouchies, ouchies, so many stinking dudes. Uh, it doesn't appear to be, but I do want the cash, so... Uh, Eddie would go down here and risk his life for cash if it meant... Uh, fighting crocs and getting money and all that jazz, so... I'm just staying true to the show. The Truman Show, no. Uh, get all these. And let's see, the cash? There wasn't even cash in there, oh no. So it was all for nothing. Well, at least we had an experience we're coming, uh, better with combat, maybe? Okay, get these gumballs. If they ever want to allow me to pick them up. Really? Okay, cool. Amazing. Uh, get that, and get that. And like, Ed just keeps on- Okay, we got some quarters. Ed just keeps on laughing throughout the entire stinking thing, which is so great. He's always so happy and positive. I love delving into the Ed's characters. Like, I saw, like, uh, there's an interview video where you get to see the voice actors and everything like that, and probably out of any show that, like, I get to see the voice actors and, like, throws me off, be like, oh, I didn't expect you to look like that. Ed and Eddie's probably the one that has the strongest what the fruit factor because I don't know the characters are just so weird like I don't even think of them as humans half the time because like they don't look human and like their voices they don't sound like kids but they're supposed to be supposed to be like 12 year olds like it just seems so weird when I just see it's a regular dude like it's crazy like Double D's voice actor is a voice acting legend and then Ed is just like Canadian jock guy and then Eddie is just like um he's just a cool guy and whatnot um but yeah, when delving into the Ed's characters and hearing what the voice actors have to say about them, like, Ed's voice actor doesn't really think Ed is all that stupid. And, um, with Eddie specifically, um, I more so agree with him. He said that, like, he does think Eddie is a good guy at the end of the day, because when you think about it, he's just trying to make, make scams. Yeah, he's trying to, like, um, uh, 
make a quick buck and all that jazz, but it's kind of fancy stuff that they end up making, even if it is kind of janky and scammy, like, it's still really cool stuff that, like, the kids are always interested in seeing, so he likes being a showrunner, he likes being able to entertain people. And another thing that I, uh, took the time to appreciate is that, like, every time, like, the neighborhood kids would, like, beat up the Eds and everything like that, and sometimes they would do it completely unprompted, there would be some episodes where they would go after the Eds themselves, and, like, without, uh, seeking revenge for, like, a scam or anything like that. Um, Eddie never does that, the Eds never go and just, uh, harm the kids for the heck of it, they're always... Um, not really kind, but like they just don't, they're not bullies is what I'm trying to say. And the other kids kind of are bullies, so, um, the fact that like even after they get terrorized or they get their money stolen or beat up or anything like that, they never seek revenge for it or even when they do, it never really works out and it's always in a comical fashion rather than just like straight up beating them up. So, I don't know, I just do see the Eds, or Eddie specifically, as a good guy all around. And, hello, what the? I have zero recollection of that. What? I don't remember that cutscene at all. That's such a minor thing. I vaguely remember the clams, but I don't remember that cutscene. That is so stinking weird. I don't know why I'm so thrown off by that. That's creepy to me. That was so weird. It is a very small enemy. You can pick it up. It's like a new red squirrel, kind of, how they just latch onto you and they'll bite you and you just have to jump to get them off. But that was weird cutscene for that. I don't know why that's so weird to me, but whatever. Uh, there is a thing over here, so let's get Double D to open this up. My, my. Intriguing. Uh, oh, there's the chicken. Well, uh, let's go this way first. Uh, let's see what's over here. Uh, this might be a dead end, so we're gonna uh, mess around here and then we'll go over to the chicken. Uh, the chicken will be like our check mark to see where we go, just so you don't get too lost in this place. Oh, this place is rather big, but all the doors are closed, thankfully, so I don't think we can get, uh, advance forward in here. Very, very nice. I'll grab that, I'll grab that, and hit that. Get these boxes, get the quarter. Uh, switch to double G just to see we, if we can interact with any of these machines. I don't think we can. This would be a pretty good place to hide a jawbreaker, but it doesn't seem to be any here. Oh wait, yeah, they can interact with these things. Uh, there might be a jawbreaker, not the batter head. Uh, double D. There might be a jawbreaker behind one of these thingies. Uh, the trampoline was always, like, kind of wonky, the wonkiest of the three, so, like, I remember getting stuck in here for a long time just because I couldn't really control it all that well. Mm, this should work. This should work. Do that, and... It opens up this thing. Which is another pathway? Oh, no. I don't want to miss out on the chicken. I'm going to go back to the chicken, then. Because maybe the chicken's a dead end, or maybe they'll meet up with each other, we'll see. I'm gonna go over this way, and the clam is back. Let's, uh, not worry about it right now, though. Uh, is it latched onto us? Uh, it's just running around, I don't think you could ever kill the clam, it just paralyze it. But CHICKEN! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho! Get the chicken, Eddie! And we're good! We exploded it, and get an easter egg. Uh, this easter egg, what does it give us, you may ask? We have obtained the small head. And now they just look, <laughs> look even weirder in my face. It's like the episode where, like, Eddie's head just shrinks. Oh my stinking god, it's so stinking creepy. Look at Double D and Ed. <laughs> Everyone looks so stinking weird and hilarious, oh my god. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off, though. Okay, it's just so stinking funny. And then they just inflate again. Oh my god, the episode's so stinking weird. That pimple was terrifying, first off. And, like, that was another example of just, like, how all the kids are really big jerks and whatnot. But the Eds are, uh, honestly the goodest of the bunch all around. Even though, like, every character is kind of a bad character. Or a bad person, rather. I don't know, I just... I do see the Eds as more of a pure character uh, than other people might see them. I did not mean to hit that. I was trying to get the coins in here. And just one quarter, oh well. Uh, we got another clam. I don't know why, I always just love saying the word clam. I always think clams are delicious, like, I just, I feel like I just imagine pasta shells, and then I automatically assume that, like, clams would taste like spaghetti or pasta or whatever. And, like, I'm constantly wanting to eat clams for whatever reason, thinking it'll be, like, spaghetti, and, like, you could just eat the shell, but no, it's not like that at all. Uh, is this where we ended up before? Uh, we could just stop getting annoyed by these guys. Just want to make sure I don't miss a jawbreaker or anything. We can't jump over here. 
I think we're good to keep on going. So this was the dead end area, sort of. Get rid of that. Break this open. This. Oh boy, this is a kind of a mazy area. Uh, go this way. I know I was saying something, but I completely lost the train of thought. It's left the station. Uh, hit that, hit that. Okay. This looks familiar, but... Uh, we'll open this up. This should work. This should work? That's just gonna lead to a new area, isn't it? I'm going to not do that. Uh, can I get out? Please, thank you. They just drop them. This leads us back over... Oh, back over here! Okay, so we came full circle. That's cool. I was gonna cut away and meet you back in this room, but this is where we are. Okay, getting your bearings straight. That's nice. Now that's taken care of, we can head in here, destroy all the rats. I am the Rat Wrangler! I don't know. I still gonna adore this show. It's so amazing. Uh, is there anything else in here? Any more jawbreakers? We only found one so far. I thought we would have found another one, but... Uh, we got the Easter egg, which is nice. Uh, gee, I wonder if that's something we could destroy. Uh, give me a second. I want to get rid of all these things. And... Matterhead! Uh, is this a dead end? Looks like it. Secret room. Uh, we got a crocodile. Crocodilly. Uh, three hits? Four hits? Five hits? I don't even know. There's just a strong enemy. Thankfully, there aren't crocodiles just hanging around outside the, uh, sewers. That'd be very scary. Is that really it? Just the crocodile? That's really weird. I thought there would be a jawbreaker in here, but no. Maybe there's more breakable walls we could get through. I'm just gonna be paranoid because, like, I haven't researched anything. Like, there's hardly any info on just, like, compilations of jawbreakers and whatnot. Maybe I'll be the first and, uh, people will be able to watch this. Uh, what, what else we got? Uh, there's another breakable wall. Maybe it's behind this one. Let's see, it's behind door number two. Uh, yes, there is a jawbreaker! Very, very nice, so I can feel a bit more at ease. Just take care of this fool. Thank you. Ho 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 ho! Get that, get the quarters. And we got another jawbreaker, very, very nice. Saves the game automatically, so I gotta make sure to make the multiple save files in case anything goes corrupt. Uh, let's go and get rid of you. And you, just so many sinking enemies. Bit overkill if you ask me. Uh, there you go. And head in here. How intriguing! The valve to operate that door is missing. Well, find it! The longer we stand around, the less people will see my latest disco moves! Johnny, may I see that valve for a moment? Thanks on first, Double D. Finders keepers. What the? Oh, come on, Johnny. It's a stupid valve. You'll catch another one. What's that, Plank? You want them to do what? Okay, buddy. Plank says find a way to lower the water so he can get the clams. Then he'll give you the valve. Hey, please, uh, uh, let me handle this. Something I always find kind of weird is that if you look in Johnny's, uh, bucket, wherever it is, did it disappear? But if you saw in that cutscene, the clams were lit up in there, like, they were the same clams that you find on the field that you could pick up, so, like, even in the cutscene, it had the, like, little outline telling you that you could jump with Ed and pick them up. It was really weird. Uh, but yeah, Double D needs to find a way to turn the valves to lower the water level, but we need to have the valve to use the valve, I don't know. Valve, 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 valve. Half-Life 3 confirmed. I really wish Half-Life 1 and 2 would get a remake just so, like, I could play it. It just, like, it looks so dated and, like, um, supposedly, like, it's revolutionary. Maybe I could just get past the graphics, but, I don't know, I feel like it just really needs an upgrade. And, but I know as soon as that happens, people are going to be like, where's Half-Life 3? And I guess the reason that they don't make the game is that, like, they don't need to because it's Valve and they have a buttload of money because they own Steam, so they don't need to make games of their own. But, like, we want it. <laughs> you make a lot of money if you made this game. It'd be cool if you did. Oh, whatever. Uh, if you go over here, then this door opens up and hello, random tanker sister. I don't know, they're just completely out of nowhere and really creepy, but whatever. My, my, intriguing. We're gonna start seeing the kankers in this level, it seems. The kankers are always so stinking terrifying. And like, there is a lot of stuff in Ed and Eddie that like, would not fly nowadays, and I think the kankers are one of them. It's kind of like, just the way they go about 
just doing stuff to the Eds and whatnot. I definitely don't support it and just like it's kind of uncomfortable to watch nowadays, but uh, for the most part, like I just, uh, the show still held up in terms of uh, other comedy bits. Turn the bubbles to lower the water, we still need to lower it even still, okay. Uh, okay, there's Lee just magically popping out. Uh, can we get this clam off of Double D's butt? Uh, let me go mess with this. This should work. Uh, that lowers a bit more. Uh, we're still not done, it seems. And there's one more door, Gee, if I wonder if May is there. Yes, she is. Okay, we got all the Kanker sisters here now. Break that. Get some quarters. My, my. Intriguing. Intriguing. Do that, and it's completely empty now. Uh, but yeah, now it's taken care of. Uh, is there anything down here? Probably another jawbreaker. Pretty, seems like a pretty good place to hide one. Yeah, at the bottom of a sewer. Right at the bottom. Uh, yeah, there was actually. Okay, that's very nice. I think I know where the last one is, so we don't have to worry about it for a while. That's pretty nice. And as you can see, Johnny just sort of comes down here. He doesn't give you the valve, which is a bit awkward. You're like, what the fruit are we supposed to do, huh? Uh, well, you're gonna want to do is head over back to my other favorite character, uh, and see if he will give it to us. Hey, Johnny! Looks like you forgot about your best pal! No! Blank! So, how about that valve, Johnny? These clams look kinda hungry. Blank says, bring it on, you sissies! What the? Just give us the valve, and I'll give you Plank! Plank says you are tricky. All right, I'll give up the valve. Just don't hurt him. All right, Double D, let's install that valve and be done with it. Sure thing, Eddie. And there you go. Now we can make our way out of here. Hmm, this should work. This should work. And this will open up this door. Yes, indeed, indeed. We're almost out of here. I believe that right there is the tunnel that will lead out of here. So we are very, very close to finishing this scam. It'd be really cool if we could finish a scam in every episode, but that would be kind of lame in having only like six or eight episodes of this LP. But whatever. I was going to keep on headbutting these guys uh, from a distance so we could go ahead and take care of them. Very, very cool. Uh, what else we got here? Just. Uh, take care of everything along the way so we can get the quarters before heading to the main objective. Just get rid of this guy, even though we really don't need to. Just get rid of him. Thank you. Oh, I'm really excited to finally be rid of these stinking crocodilies. Uh, name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator! Survey said... Go and hit this, and this, and I think we're finally done with enemies for this chapter. Thanks, stinking god. Head over here now. Uh, climb up this thing, Mahoozy. So make sure we don't miss anything on the way. How very convenient. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just about done here. And the scam's not completely done yet. Create a diversion by smashing the pinatas. Uh, before we do that, there should be one jawbreaker hidden in here, and also, it's Jimmy's backyard, so there's bound to be a sandbox. Let's see if we can find them both. Uh, for the jawbreaker, I just assume it's in this area. I don't know why it looks so uncomfortable to look at this thing right now. Uh, what do we want to do? There's a sandbox around here, and there we go. Get that. It just throws something randomly. Through his invisible friend, he threw Jib. It's so weird that like there's a Jimmy, there's Jim, Double D's cactus, and then there's Ed's imaginary friend Jib. I don't know what it was with this show and like obsession obsession with characters that had names that sounded like Jim, but whatever. There should be a jawbreaker around here somewhere. If it's back in the sewer, it's gonna be upset. Come on, like there, there's gotta be one here, right? I'm afraid that like if we advance further, then it's gonna uh make it so we can't walk around the area anymore. So we just want to make sure that we find it before that happens. Um, let's see, it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Maybe, possibly, hidden under here maybe? No. I'm like, getting a bit of a brain fart. Is it in a tree? Can you knock stuff out of a tree? 
Uh, if it's back in the sewers, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be a sad panda if that's the case. Um, allow me a second to check my notes, I guess, because I... Wait, can I go back into the sewers? You cannot. Oh, well. Why does he have a second sewer thing right in his back? I don't know. Okay, I'll check it online real quick. Give me a second. Ah, oh, very, very crafty, I see. Um, it is inside a piñata, so... Uh, we were gonna find it eventually if we just went forward with the plot. How very convenient that the one thing I was avoiding doing... Avoiding doing, I don't know. It is what we needed to do after all. Hit this. Uh, that's how we do it, right? Uh, do we, uh, do that with it? Oh yeah, I think we just need to, like, press A, and there you go. There's cats in the pinatas? That's really singing creepy. Uh, but yeah, you press the A button to just have them throw Double D upwards without actually throwing him over a ledge, and then you press the X button to have them throw him up and forward. And then you press L to just have them put him back down. Uh, let's see, where's the other pinatas? There was a stinking cats in that one, that's not, that's not very pleasant. Uh, where's the other ones? Come on, there we go, there's one. Uh, we can't do it because Ed is running around like, <laughs> oh my god, Ed, you're singing amazing. Just make sure everyone's together before you use your attacks, and we're good. That, and there's, there it is, thank you. I would recommend getting this one before not having it be the last one you get because it might trigger a cutscene that prevents you from getting it. Just a heads up. Like an heads up. Now that that's taken care of, we 100%ed this area, aside from finishing the level. Now there's nothing left to do but finish the level. Now, if only we could find that third piñata. Viva piñata, viva piñata, where the fruit is the final piñata. No, seriously, where the fruit is it? Uh, hello? Uh, is that it over there? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. This place is kind of... Like, all the colors blend into each other, but there you go, it's... Fish? Vandals! Hooligans! Those are my piñatas! Give it a rest, Squirt! We're professional piñata poppers! We're doing you a favor! <laughs> And get ready to hear them laugh a bajillion singing times. So you basically have to defeat all the kankers before uh, they kiss you and stuff. Oh god, the controls on this are not good. Oh jeez. Uh, hit that. You got drop refrigerators on them? Jeez. Uh, drop this. On Marie. Was that it? I guess we're done. No, they're not quite done yet. Well, that's what happens when you get a game over. Uh, up here. Hit that. There we go. Uh, hit Lee. I think you just gotta focus on Marie. She's like the one who moves around and stuff. We dropped a fridge on her, my god. And the final screen. Let's go in and do that. Uh, that one right there, come on. Yes, we got her. Uh, get her over here. I'm gonna reach her. Oh, uh, we died, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, let's don't have to start all the way from the beginning again. Uh, hit that. And didn't mean to hit that. Do that. At least the pianos magically come back for us. And with that, we have completed Scam 2. Pin the tail on the Ed. Current game completion, 23%. Party's over, dorks! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, Jimmy! There's gotta be some cake left, right? Here, you can lick the icing from my candles. That's a more appropriate ending for the Eds, I think.
But we've done it! We have finished our second scam. We got fully healed. How nice. Okay, that was a bit overwhelming with just all the sewer stuff. It was kind of a bit of a challenge, but up to scam three now, I believe. If I remember, scam three is my favorite one, if I remember correctly. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, we can stand on this tire. That's cool. I was like just doing weird stuff like trying to have the Ed stand on top of each other and whatnot. Really. Like, have Eddie stand on double D if I can and then like switch to Ed and it doesn't work all that well but it is good for speed running tactics in like certain areas I guess we just have to party by ourselves again oh well another day in the life of the Eds next time on Ed and Eddie the Miss Adventures we are going to head on over to scam 3 and see if we could change our luck around I have a feeling that that won't be the case but can't hurt to try except it will this is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.